Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Metaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve if you're coming across an error message in the services window on your windows computer and the error shows windows could not start the windows firewall on local computer for more information review the system event log if this is a non microsoft service contact the service vendor and refer to service specific error code number five kung paano ba natin ito fix and without further ado and let's go ahead so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then dito sa search for apps so kailangan mo lang i-type dito yung control panel and then click mo lang dito yung open and then next step, and dito lang sa category, so dapat nakasinik yan. So once naka-large icon siya, so kailangan mo lang i-change yan into category. And then kailangan mo lang isinik dito yung system and security, so click mo lang yan. So dito sa control panel system and security, so dito lang sa right side, ay kailangan mo lang isinik dito yung Windows Defender Firewall, so click mo lang yan. And then dito sa Windows Defender Firewall, so dito na sa side menu, so kailangan mo lang i-click to restore default. Okay, so click mo lang yan. And then kailangan mo lang i-click to restore default. So after dito, so close lang natin. And another solution na pwede natin gawin. So dito na ulit sa search menu. And then dito sa search for apps, so kailangan mo lang i-type dito yung registry editor. And then, kailangan mo lang mag-right click. And sinik mo lang dito yung run as administrator. If you receive user account control, and then click mo lang dito yung yes. So, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you to create a backup file. So, if anything go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is to select yung file dito sa taas. And then, sinik mo lang dito yung export. And then, pop up tong export registry file. So, sinig mo lang dito kung saan mo save yung file. And then, I will suggest and recommend to create file name must be with a date. So, kailangan, inagay mo din yung date. And then, click mo lang dito yung save. And then, if you needed to import it back. So, same procedures. All you have to do is to sinig yung file dito sa taas. And then, sinig mo lang dito yung import. And then, pop up itong import registry file. So, ang next step, kailangan mo lang inocate dito kung saan mo sinib yung file. And then, click mo lang dito yung open. Alright? So, proceed na tayo. Ang next step, so, dito lang sa computer, ay kailangan mo lang isinik dito yung HK Local Machines. So, double click ka lang dito. And then, dito sa HK Local Machines, so, ang next step, sinik mo lang dito yung system. So, double click on it. And then dito sa system, so kailangan mo isinik dito yung current control set. So dito, kailangan mo ulit mag-double click. And then dito sa current control set, so ang next step, sinik mo lang dito yung services. So double click ulit dito. And then dito sa services, ang next step ay kailangan lang natin inlocate dito yung shared access. Okay, so scroll down lang tayo at hanapin natin dito yung shared access ito siya so dito kailangan mo ulit mag double click and then dito sa shared access so ang next step sinik mo dito yung parameters so double click ulit dito and then dito sa parameters ang next step sinik mo lang dito yung firewall policy so double click on it and then dito sa firewall policy ang next step ay sinik mo lang dito yung firewall rules okay so dito sa firewall rules so sinik mo lang siya and then kailangan mo lang mag right click and then, click mo lang dito yung delete. And then, pop up itong confirm key delete. So, select dito yung yes. Alright? And then, next step. So, dito lang ulit sa firewall policy. So, select mo lang dito yung restricted services. So, click mo lang ganyan. And then, right click. And then, select mo lang dito yung delete ulit. And then, confirm key delete. So, click mo lang dito yung yes. So, after dito, so, kailangan na natin ito mag-back. And then, dito lang sa start menu, so click mo lang yan, and then click mo lang dito yung restart. So, kailangan lang natin mag-restart, alright? So, ganun lang po kasimple on how to fix Windows, could not start the Windows 
firewall on the local computer. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.